<laughs> That's right, in my neighborhood it's like that, homie. Mama raised the hood gangsta. Yeah, zero. Oh yeah, and it don't stop, homie. <laughs> Got Chino G, Big Also, Big Jazz, Little Minor, homie. The big boys in the plug in their set, so hit the panic button. Charlie Brook, Campanero, so we should have something. We specialize in devouring amongst the foes. So got your wise, cross your teeth, cause we live it cold. We rid them foes, we live it like an episode of lost times. Good feelings in the back of a bone. A 73 Chevrolet, from a town with no place. We got the gunner, baby, this is what we have to Up in my city, we be known for gang bang activity. Duck tape your face while we ride through the city. We some sick individuals, two striking criminals. Fogging up the windows full of window when I take a pin. Had up on my dome, I'll let you know that I'm from P Town. Pull up on my hand until my death, I wear the king's crown. I ride around through my hood strap. Rolling up on any bodies, cause the vibe yo is like that. In my neighborhood, it's like that. Jumping out on motherfuckers with a spike bag. In my neighborhood, it's like that. Serve the custies like that with a nice sack. In my neighborhood, it's like that. Blowing pones on against the rest tight track. In my neighborhood, it's like that. I know you heard, motherfucker, that it's like that. I did my life in the fast lane. Three, six, a cold cane. Gang, bang, ritual. Corners with the blood stain. We from the streets, but it's cold, motherfucker. But real. Certain elements in Washington are pushing for a military intervention into Mexico and much of the public is behind them on this. But the Mexican government claims that such an action would be tantamount to a declaration of war. So the president is between a rock and a hard place here. He doesn't want war with Mexico. 
But then again, seven federal agents are dead, and that simply can't stand. That's why this should be an FBI investigation. The DEA has compromised itself enough already. FBI? We've been investigating the Mendoza cartel for over a year oh, now. Oh, yeah, that's worked out well. Enough! This interagency bullshit has got to stop. That's why I brought in Assistant Deputy Director Shane Dixon. She created this task force, and she'll be running it. Miss Dixon? Agent Stone was investigating the sale of military weaponry to the Mendoza cartel in Juarez. Why the hell wouldn't you tell us that? Water under the bridge, Agent Guerra. The Mendozas are a new player in Juarez. Not much is known about their leader, Juan Mendoza, but the scope of their operation is growing exponentially. Drugs, guns, gambling, prostitution. We've never seen a new cartel grab power so quickly. Which is why we think they may have infiltrated one or more of our federal law enforcement agency. That bombing was no accident. They knew exactly where and when to strike. And that's why neither the DEA nor the FBI are running this operation. We have a totally autonomous team. Miss Dixon, I have another meeting to get to. From this moment on, it's all up to you. Don't fuck it up. Let me introduce everyone. Special Agent Eddie Guerra joined the DEA soon after completing his tour of duty in Operation Desert Storm. He holds the record for the single largest drug seizure in Southern California history. He's also the only DEA agent involved in the investigation who managed to survive the bombing. FBI Special Agent Kimberly Evans, the youngest agent ever to win the FBI Medal for Meritorious Achievement. She single-handedly apprehended a serial killer who had murdered 32 women and in the process saved the life of his last victim. I brought her into the task force because of her ties to Los Angeles criminal gangs connected to the cartel. So you're in charge overall, but who's in charge on the street? Detective Benjamin McCall. He's with LAPD's Robbery Homicide Division. A 30-year veteran, he is a two-time winner of the Medal of Valor. A homicide detective? With all due respect, ma'am, isn't this a little out of his jurisdiction? Not at all. Stone's daughter Jessica contacted Detective McCall the day after the bombing and told him her father had been threatened just the day before. Which means we actually have a suspect and a witness. The suspect is Antonio Alvarez. Why'd she take that to the LAPD? Why not come to us? That's why. That's right, Agent Guerra. They all served together in Vietnam. McCall knows them both. So two became cops, and one became a crook. Worse than that, he's an asshole. Agent Evans, Agent Guerra, I'd like you to meet Detective McCall. You'll have whatever you need as far as resources. But in terms of manpower, you're on your own. No backup from federal agencies. We don't know who we can trust, so you'll only report to me. I'm going to hit the Mendoza cartel as hard as humanly possible. Find and arrest those responsible for that bombing and protect the witness because without her, we don't have anything. What if we find out the cartel has someone inside the FBI? Or the DEA? Well, then the hardliners will have a reason to send the military into Mexico. And let's pray that's not the case. Because if that happens, a lot of innocent people are going to get hurt. We need to let the public know that any foreign asshat who comes after us in our own country will get lit up like a goddamn Christmas tree. If the tip pays off, you'll get the I'm rest. I'm glad you, Ben. Of course not. Oh, you know how I feel about you, right? Detective McCall? If the tip pays off, you'll get the I'm rest. How you been? Of course not. Oh, you know how I feel about you, right? Detective McCall? Catch you later, Ben. You bet. What can I do for you, sweetie? My name's Jessica Stone. You knew my father. He died in that DEA bombing. He left a letter with his lawyer. It said if something happened to him, I should find you. That I could trust you. Is this funny to you? Look, 
I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do for you. But you were his friend, right? Right. A long, long time ago. It's just that someone came to our house the day before he died and threatened him. You should be telling this to the DEA, okay? This is way above my pay grade. He said his name was Tony. Who did? The guy who threatened my father. I'm afraid, okay? The way he looked at me was... With... You know you can't smoke in here, McCall. Let's go out to my car. But, but can't we just... Now! Stan, it's McCall. Listen, I need to get in touch with somebody in charge at the AGO. Yeah. I think I have a witness in the bombing case. If the tip... Now! Now! Go! This is a DEA investigation. Sorry, boys. I have a federal warrant for Dion Evans. A federal warrant signed by who? Someone who has a lot more juice than you. This is bullshit. It is what it is. You want to end up like our brothers? Fuck. Everybody ends up dead eventually. Yeah, but not at 18. So how come you never visit their graves? Because it's too late for them. But you still have a chance. You get popped with this kind of way, you going down for a dime, and not to juvie, but to fucking fulsome. Pull over. This is your chance to start over, baby bro. Get out of the life for good. You want to work for the powers that be? That's up to you, Kimmy. But in the end, they just gonna fuck you over. You know that as well as me. All right. Now get out of here. Go. Go! Hell no. You let me go now, and everybody's gonna think I'm a snitch. Not when you tell them it was your sister who picked your ass up. I should have just locked him up. He's going to get himself killed. We're going to need him, Agent Evans. Can't have him sitting in a prison. I know. I'll ask again, Agent Stone. Is the FBI running an undercover operation against the Mendoza cartel? Not authorized to talk about any ongoing investigations. So there is an investigation. I am not authorized. Are you purposely trying to piss me off? Guerra, tell him what our agent Noir is overheard. A conversation between an FBI handler and a confidential informant working for the cartel. Look, I don't know what your man thought he was listening to, but I can assure you he was mistaken. Two days later, Federalis found our agent dead. Three bullets in the back of the head. All his notes and recordings, gone. So now, our entire investigation is back to square fucking one. I don't care if you're authorized or not. I want some fucking answers. I gotta take this bus. Now? Yeah, sorry, it's important. Take it outside. A DEA agent is dead, and I think you know why. That's bullshit. No way in hell is the FBI responsible for that agent's death. Well, then who is? Are you fucking loco? I told you not to call me at this number, eh? Now?
ask again, Agent Stone. Is the FBI running an undercover operation? Jesus Christ! Are you out of your fucking mind? Fuck, 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 fuck! Hey, did you get on the right fucking side of the road? I'm trying! Right! Certain elements in Washington are pushing for a military intervention into Mexico. I'll ask again, Agent Stone. Goodbye to him. Please. We can't take the risk, Mija. It's too dangerous. What do you remember from your father's conversation with Alvarez? They were arguing. I, he was yelling about some $50 million deal. As soon as they saw me, they went silent. And then Alvarez started threatening him. Was he intimidating or bribing him? Either or. Gold or lead. Oro o la chingada. What case was Stone working on exactly? The cartel is buying military-grade weaponry. Grenade launchers, anti-tank rockets, night vision goggles. Stone was trying to find their supplier. For 50 mil, they can buy a fucking Abrams tank. Alvarez is probably the middleman. So you have no idea who the supplier is? Nope. Then the deal's probably already done, darling. Maybe not. Aranya recently flooded the city with a shitload of new product, eh? Aranya? They moving out of East L.A.? Up and out, chica. They distribute for the cartel. Maybe Mendoza's trying to make a little extra cash for that big weapons buy. I hear they're even selling their shit to the rolling 50s. Well, if that's true, then maybe what we need to do is throw a wrench into the operation and fuck things up. If the major players get pissed enough, they might show themselves. <laughs> Hell, we might even find the pendejo who planted that goddamn bomb. You okay, Jess? Please, just let me say goodbye to him. Stone was in the LAPD before he joined the Bureau. He had a lot of friends. I want to be Enough. there. Enough! Where are 
you taking me? Somewhere safe. Are, are you staying with me? You'll have protection. We need to go poke a stick in a spider's nest. And I think I know just how. Do tell. The enemy of my enemy is my carnal. Do you think this interagency task force has the resources to make a difference? Absolutely. The president is determined to stop the spread of drug-related violence. The Mexican government has promised full cooperation. Rebecca Cuellar, LA Times. Do you believe this investigation could be the precursor to a U.S. military incursion into Mexico? At this point, we're not ruling out anything. The president has given me full authority to do whatever is necessary to bring to justice those who would threaten our way of life. From the streets of Los Angeles to the mountains of New Mexico to the Rio Grande, we will hunt these evildoers down. We will seize their drugs, freeze their assets, destroy their arsenals, and hang them high like the outlaws they are. This is war! We have declared war on the Mendoza cartel! Weapons are in the trunk. Take what you want and get in the car. Beautiful day for a drive, huh? again, Agent Stone. Is the FBI running an undercover operation against the... Do you think this interagency task force has the resources to make a difference? Absolutely. The president is determined to stop the spread of... Weapons are in the trunk. Take what you want and get in the car. Beautiful day for a drive, huh? Weapons loaded, ready to go. Then get in the car.
Get out of the city more often, man. Look at these mountains. You ever see so many trees? The perfect place to hide a marijuana plantation. Sequoia National Park. How come you DEA boys didn't tell the Bureau about this? Afraid to share the glory? Nah, afraid you'd screw it up. And your boss isn't gonna be pissed when we burn his case? They won't be blaming us for burning this shit down. Nah, they'll be blaming Aranya. At least that's the plan. So we torch the Vato Locos pot fields and leave some tags that point to Aranya. You really believe the Vatos will go after Aranya? If someone burned up a couple of million that belonged to you, wouldn't you want some payback? They'll buy it. All right, easy, easy. We're close now. It's here, on the right. You sure you know the way? Look, I saw the satellite photos, man. This is the way to the first field. All right, looks like we have our way in. Here. Here. We're gonna have to leave the car and walk the rest of the way. There they are. Guess my CIs don't suck after all. Can we do this without firing any shots? Hey! Who the fuck? Gino, wake up! Ahead! These motherfuckers are going down! These assholes are starting to chap my ass. What do we do with them? Leave them. They're not going anywhere. Uh, is it far? To the top. You should be able to see the first field from this hill. Hmm. We got a little bit of a hike. You sure you can make it, Detective? Yo, Evans, you might have to carry his ass. Let's go, jackass. Look at this. Fucking ocean of weed in a goddamn national forest. Holy shit. I told you. That's a lot of damn weed. Think we can burn it all? We just need to burn enough to piss those vatos off. See those tents? Seems like that's where they store what they've already harvested. If we torch two of them, you'll be able to see that smoke for miles. The fire lookout at Bald Mountain will call in the smoke jumpers. The Forest Service will take care of the rest. Let's go! Who the fuck are you, is there? Chinga tu madre! Shoot him! Put him down! Oh, shit! Shoot him! Come here! 